The material system is um, it's a, a new system in the game, in the rendering system, which allows us to really customize the way the different uh, surfaces in the game look. Um, that allows us to do all kinds of uh, special effects that we haven't been able to do before, like make nano shield look better, or make the treads on the arc actually animate when it's moving. Um, There's just like a huge list of things that we've wanted to do for a while, but haven't been able to do because we haven't been able to go to each individual material and customize uh, the actual shader code for it. So this is what we call a surface shader, and this is what actually is going to create the custom effect for a particular material. So this is just a temporary placeholder nano shield effect that I put in to kind of test out the system. And over here you can see what it will actually look like. So what it does is it creates this kind of shell around the object that's rendered emissively so it looks like it's glowing and it has kind of a basic animation on it. Um, the system you know, can do all kinds of stuff. I can, I can actually change this. Just do the game is able to hot load these things, so I just kind of made a tweak to the shader and it does you know, something else. Or I could even do something. change the shaders that are being used on everything in the world. So now everything is kind of scrolling in this nauseating way. Oh, wow, it's really bad. Or, I don't know, maybe tint, tint everything red. So what the material system allows me to do is basically customize all the different components that go into drawing each pixel on the screen. So the color, the normal, how shiny it is, how glossy it is, whether or not it's uh, partially transparent and won't actually render. Um, all those properties are just configured with this little, little script file.